Hello guys, it's Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. Today we are doing paid review 24 QB7. And this is a question. This is a question from Michael regarding a small Vacheron, Vacheron Constantine dress watch. A uh, quick whist watch check. What am I wearing today? I'm wearing a two-tone bluesy. 40 mil ceramic bluesy. Let's jump straight in. Hello, Arch. Thank you for your information and entertaining content. I really do value your expertise since I think we share the very same view on watches. I love my watches, but I don't want to lose big money with the hobby. Your expertise is much bigger than mine. So I dig. So I do have a question regarding your opinion on a certain watch. Since almost four months, I am contemplating buying this watch. Now, this is a watch that is actually for sale on Chrono 24. Let's, let's go and have a sticky beak at this particular watch. Okay, let's have a look. Bring it up. Okie dokie. So it's a it's a Vacheron Constantine. Okay, very nice. Vash now it says patrimony. I think I think it's um it's actually pre-patrimony. Uh, but that, that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's not get into semantics. I know it's small, but without that factor, since I do have small wrists and I think dress watches, this is what I solely want to use it for. Weddings, etc., should not be too big. This is a bargain, isn't it? Now he goes on. He goes on a bit with some. Um, he goes on for a few other things there. He tells me the pros. Uh, he goes brand. I wrote to the dealer. The bracelet is totally uncut. The gold value is not bad either. I do have a good relationship with a German master watchmaker. Uh, he services every one of mine for 150 euro. What do you think, buy or not? What is your opinion? Is it okay? Then he actually links to a video, which unfortunately I don't understand. That video there, it was on a gold zenith. But okay, he, he he okay. I think I get what he's. I think I get what he's saying. Um, and then it's uh. What do I say then? He um he comes back to me here and he, he asks my opinion. I've sent you 30 euros via PayPal. Thank you, and all the best regards from Hamburg, Germany, Michael. So so the question is, what do I think of this watch? Okay, now now I gotta tell you, I owned a very similar watch. It was a number of years ago. It was a patrimony. Well, it's actually, it was a reference 6405. It was from 1960. And it was a, um, it was basically a small Vacheron. Uh, it was a six, as I mentioned, the reference number was 6405. Now, I got to be totally honest with you buying this watch here. I don't think there's much risk. I don't think there is much risk. Let's have a bit more of a look at some of the photos that are here. So we've got that. Actually, let's just blow that up. Let's get some photos. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, the crown's a little bit, gone a little bit. Sometimes they do that. White gold actually does do that. The yellow does come through. Uh, look at that. It's got a rasher on class. Nice condition bracelet. Okay, so he actually was a bit of a scaredy cat, and he decided not to buy it, but I was also already scheduled to make the video. I did some research, and uh, that's the reason I'm making this video here. So firstly, what do I think of this watch here? Well, 4,000 euro. You know what? I think it's a little bit expensive. I don't think it's really cheap. Let's have a look. It's 32.5 mils. Okay, that's similar to one I had myself. Um, it uses the movement 1003, 100% genuine. You can just tell by that movement reference there, 
That is a 100% genuine watch. He did explain to me he's concerned about Franken's, and i got to be totally honest with you. Um, on this piece here, why would they copy your Franken? Well, I suppose they still do, but no, I, I, I don't see any, any reason why this would be Franken at not. It is, let's have a look at the age of it. I think it. this is 67. Okay, reference 6352, which I think would be 60s, 70s sort of age. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a, That's just the, um, um, that's, that's just, that's just what it is. It says own. I think that means no original box, no papers. Fair enough. It's. This type of error, people didn't really keep them. And if you do a Google on that reference, 6352, it actually brings up a, a number of these pieces. So I can definitely tell you, definitely not fake. Now, let's have a talk about it. Would I buy it? What do I think of it? Now, number, the first thing is, I want to say this, with these cheaper watches, they are much better on a leather strap because this type of bracelet, it has to be cut, custom cut to the wearer. You can't add more links. They don't use links. It's custom done. And to be completely honest with you, it can be a total pain in the ass. That's what it can be. It can be a total pain in the ass. That's right. It can be an absolute total pain in the ass. So personally, what I would say the biggest concern I would have is, does the damn thing fit? Is it tight? If it's tight, it's no good. If it's too loose, it's no good. It's got to be a perfect fit. And then the price, it's not ridiculously priced, but the problem is this watch is so unsellable because, because, it is either yes or no, does it fit or doesn't it fit? So that is a total disaster. That is a total disaster. So in my opinion, would I buy it? Would I buy it? Um, I got to be totally honest with you. If it fitted, yes, I prob it's not terrible. I'd try and get it for 3,000 euro. Um, but I'd, you'd want to make sure the damn thing fits. It's genuine. She's genuine. Um, now, let's have a look here. I want to show you something here. I actually did have one of these watches. Uh, not the exact reference, but I'm going to pull up the watch that I had. I had a Vacheron 6405. Just pulling it up now for you people. There we go. This is what it looked like. It was very elegant. Now, what had happened is with my watch, I actually had a replacement crown fitted. It wasn't the original. It went for a service and it they put it. Now, is that the is that terrible? Not really. It wasn't terrible. The reference number will tell you uh, here. In my case here, it had the lugs. These ones are slightly better because you can put the straps on. The ones that have the gold bracelet, even though you got more gold content, more complexity, they're a bigger pain in the ass because you can't really do much with them. You can see here the gold crown. I think that's before I replaced it. Um, and often they replace it with a, a non-solid gold. It's it's a plated crown, may not. But I'll be honest with you. Is it worth buying? Okay, here we go. So my one had the K1001. Your one's got the K1003. Yeah, very similar type of movement to this here. It's not a bad watch. Lovely watch indeed. This is inside the K. This is what they 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 present like. Um, okay, so the question is on this watch here, what's my opinion on it? So let's go through that. I know it's small, but... Um, it has so if it fits, that's the first thing you'd want it to fit perfectly, not too tight, not too loose, because there is nothing you can do to that bracelet. You cannot, you can cut the bracelet, but that's a bitch to do. And uh, you'd want to make sure it fits absolutely perfect. Um, is it a bargain? No, I don't think it's a bargain. I think it's very small, it's a masculine watch, it's not a feminine, it's not something a lady can wear. 
And it's a it's a buy. It's a different era. So I don't necessarily think it's a bargain at four thousand euros. Um, I think three thousand would be the money. The pros, the brand. I you can't beat Vacheron. That's a great brand. Uh, the bracelets, as I said, the bracelet you want to make sure it fits perfectly. The value of the got yes, it's gold. I have a you've got an independent watchmaker. They are fairly simple to service. What do I think? What's your opinion? Well, as I said, if it fits perfectly and you can get it a bit cheaper, it's not terrible. That's my honest view on it. Now, this particular individual came back to me and said, if it's okay for you, forget the question. I can't get myself to the point to buy the watch. I think I'm afraid of buying a Franken. This is definitely not a Franken. It's definitely, this is genuine. I've I've owned a similar model and it's got all the... like. The telltale signs of being genuine. The crown seems, well, the crown could have been replaced. That was quite often what happened. There's nothing special about the crown. It's just what it is. Again, if it's okay, forget the question. Keep the money and I'll be back in for a paid review in a few months. So I've already had this video. I did my homework. I wanted to pull out the pictures and I wanted to get a proper answer on the screen for it. So... Um, that's why I, I ran the video, even though he said, don't run it. And, uh, I've got to tell you in all honesty, this sort of watch here, um, I, I, I would say it's sixties, sixties, mine was 1960. So th this is probably, you know, similar vintage, maybe a little bit later, late. Mine was a 6405. That was the reference number. Is it worth doing? Um, Hey, it's not a terrible watch. They're a great looking watch. They're beautiful. Um, it's not terrible. Is it a bargain? It's okay. It's okay. Is it a bargain? It's okay. It's okay. It's not fantastic, but it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Uh, the thing is, it needs to fit. If it doesn't fit, walk away. If it's too tight, there's nothing you can do to put extra links in it. If it's too loose, it's a real bitch to cut because it's it, it, it's it's a technique that, oh, don't even go there. It's either got to fit or you don't buy it. Uh, it seems reasonable, reasonable condition. As I said, because of that, I'd be wanting to pay about 3,000 euros. So uh, it is what it is. I'm Archie Luxury. That's the verdict. And if you're in America... Please go to David SW. I'm going to run the ad. And remember, paid reviews keep me full-time on YouTube. Without your support, I can't survive. Paid reviews keep me full-time on YouTube. Okay, guys, that's the video. Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Hi, guys. It's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW.